Hello everyone, it's Love here and today we won't talk about the deck in the intro, we will talk about the game that you are about to witness, that might be the most epic game you have ever seen, it, it's something else, just watch it, enjoy. Alright, opponent goes first, we don't love to sit, however we have some place on our own, definitely a soul start for us, a double wedding announcement can be insanely good. What we are playing against is that 5 chord control or ramp, should I say. Man, th th that is both ramp and the control. And they think a long time, so I think they have try on. Okay, I don't know. Um, I would have been stuck insanely good. I really would love to duress it, but it is what it is. Uh, next turn is wedding announcement, so we need to go for this one. And what do we do? Man, his hand is really good. And they do play syncopate. I think we go binding, then we try to wedding announcement to tokens and try draw cards and for Sunfall then play something huge. It's it's hard, it's hard. Up the Beanstalk will be absolutely horrible, but at least we prevent the cardo from uh, the binding too early. And they don't have very good place for this turn. I mean, if they syncopate, they syncopate. They don't draw a card, it's one for one, we kinda need to go with it. And they know that we know about the counter spell, so if we play it, it must be then beneficial to our gameplay. In reality, we literally have no choice. And yes, I could uh, ignore the binding and just uh, discard the syncopate, and then he would remove my wedding announcement and draw a card on top of it, so that's just bad. And it's interesting they play counter spells. Of course, we are falling extremely behind on mana, so it's not very, very good. And we need to get some foothold in the in the battlefield. If they minus one, we can reverie and get some tokens, which give us a lot of pressure in the board. Witness the future. Interesting version. They get one quality card. And it's not the land, so it was something else. Alright, good. Kinda good. We take the damage, we can absolutely take it for a while. Oh my god, this is huge. Man, why do I get so mana screwed? It's so painful, man. Do I even my see myself ever using uh, using Kaya? Like I'm at at three. I cannot draw cards. And next turn he might play the Sunfall because it will be seven seven. Oh boy, I think we have to main phase it. Well, this is rough, this is rough, but this is the card that really gives them all the power. We need to negate the card though, if we ever want to win this. But it's really hard to win against Ramp if you have no, no cards. Next time, at least maybe we can draw a card. <laughs> Man, it's, it's like, whatever outcome I'm thinking, no outcome seems great on 3 mana. Even drawing plants means that we are still behind and we don't get new cards, so it's not great even this. Sure. You can see that he's actually starting to create a lot of pressure by a simple one Emperor because we cannot cast our spells anyway. And now Sunset Reverie doesn't work right, which was the, the base of our play. A tap land. A tap land on top of all of this. Oh boy, it's it's rough. He plays a bit controlly version, so we'll go like this. I mean, it is what it is. But at least we answer some of the problems. No first strike, so we have decent rates. If that's a syncopate again... <laughs> like, bro, come on. There, it's actually another syncopate. Well, it's definitely good if your opponent misses two or three land drops in a row. Well, this definitely improves the card by quite a lot. And yeah, they keep playing. If they attack, we can triple block. And I think it's okay, right? Because they kill one creature and they lose one creature, so it's not very good. We could also go for the non-first strike guy. Alright. 
So now I could do the Emperor thing. By the way, I could besiege the mirror and get duress. But I think what we really need to do right now is freaking start drawing good cards because I'm I'm really behind. I'm like two turns fully behind of where I should be. So this arena, if it's it, if it's answered, that's insanely bad for us. And we probably lose the game. But if it sneaks and we can survive a little bit more. Uh, I think we can uh, recover fully. We just need to get those lands. In four turns we will play a normal game, maybe. And every duress will be absolutely insane. Yep. Thank you. See? S suddenly we are starting to get there. We are starting to get there. I think this is March. And they will have the Mirex thing, so we need to be careful, really. But with March, we have more life than they think. Let's see. Scary, because we are super behind still. We need, like, two, two more turns to recover. Don't tell me he instantly answers it. I would cry, man. This is my powerhouse that... Oh, man, that, that is rough. So a huge creature. However, it also means no Mirex. And we can kill the Emperor. That solves one of the problems. Then we can depopulate this board if we care. Try not to miss me. And then he has only, what, two cards? And that's it. So I can see this being a good play. Isn't it this tempting? We can still fight for the board this way. And then Sunset Reverie. Don't forget, every turn we are getting advantage because we are doing double the cards that he does. So you can see, this is the what I said, like two, three turns and we recover. Well, this is insanely good draw. But still, this could be maybe farewell, but uh, I don't want to target enchantments, so I won't. Still no lands, huh? And do I really besiege the mirror just to hit my land? I no way, man, I'm not doing it. It's it's too much even for me, man. <laughs> like, this is really not how it should look like. Uh, there will be Mirex. So I could kill it, but no, I don't have the mana. I'm... Oh my god, this is rough. The problem is not board. The problem is I cannot play anything because I have no mana. What do we do as... Uh, farewell is okay, but not great. We definitely want Sunset Reverie. This creates two blockers. And the token is only 1-1, one, one, and we have zero poison, so the might tokens aren't super scary. Uh, so he has only one play. He should, he should just skip it. And then I think we play Arena. Double Arena is the only thing that actually guarantees that I will draw my stuff. <laughs> And maybe we can go get to Kaya, right? Our man, are we roped again? Are we actually roped again? <laughs> that's, that's a, man, we answered so much stuff this game. Let's go. We are at 12. And we'll be at 10. And they cannot kill us, right? They can sneak 4 damage. So it's, we will be at 6. And we can always besiege one of the arenas after doing cards. They still have this. And let's go for the biggest creatures, I think. Yeah, I don't want to da to take damage. I don't want to take damage, especially that we can answer the board anytime. We just need to freaking hit those lands. <laughs> we just need to hit those lands, man. What is the magical card you draw? And look at their mana. Like, they have three extra mana on, on us every turn. All right. With three cards a turn, I think I I am able to hit my land drops. Maybe. Hopefully. Man, what do I need to do to hit my lands, please? This is one for, third of my deck. Do I really besiege the mirror? No, I cannot. Like, come on. That, there's a limit. I mean, this is what I have to do. 
and uh, let's go for the bear game this is why we also can play more arenas than normally that's a weird tap but yeah uh, that's the one we need look at those we actually have and you know what the worst part is later we get flooded like crazy and we don't draw any good cards for like five turns in a row so definitely not on our great side with the draws and there's might so it still will be some extra damage so it is what it is i think i missed like five land drops this game man that's insane i could be at 10 mana playing kaya into reverie into duress and instead i'm like can i afford four drop maybe oh man what a game what a game okay this is a legendary land i told you it exists i let you ask him I r oh wait 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 i don't think we have luxury so sunset reverie I don't play another arena, two cards need, need to do it, like we need to smooth our mana base a little bit. Duress is so tempting, man. But then I cannot put the pressure with the Emperor, and you can see with Wedding Announcement, we can actually reverse the, you know, the sweep super quickly. And the cool part is, they think they have Sunfall, and uh, they can just, you know, clear the board, whatever we do. Uh, but after we cast the Emperor at the end step, they cannot cast it, then we make tokens, and then we duress, and then on their turn, then they still cannot do it. Unless they have two, uh, two of them, which is possible. But this is not good enough to just sun for most of the time. They might. Alright, sure. I wonder what they will take. Wedding announcement. Don't forget we can get it back, so it's actually not really bad for us. Cool. First, let's go like this. I should have blocked first, I think. And now we can answer whatever happens, so let's go to blockers and now block. I will block both of them, because I don't want any, da any extra damage. Remember, every damage is one less card before I die. And Emperor has uh, instant ability, so even if he casts something, like you can always you know, save the thing. And a lot of loyalty might be helpful. I think we're recovering from this man from this crazy start, but oh boy, we needed to work for it. And man, this whale was just so much for me. Like not the whale on top of everything else. Especially when you are on five mana, answering you know worst two gets really hard. And all those syncopates, man. Alright. And this is why we blocked first. Now if he removes the token, it's still fine. And we can get those cards back very easily. And we clear the... Man, it's looking really good for us. And don't forget we have Kaya, and she will start draining him super hard. So this poison might be the, the most important part. Alright then. Let's go with the Kaya plan. I could also get everything back. And you know what? It's pretty tempting. It, it Oh, they will sunfall. But it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and this is a play that I didn't make some months ago and I had a lot of comments about this. <laughs> so I'm learning, alright? I'm learning slowly but surely. And I mean, this is a decent board, isn't it? Now we have all the wedding announcement again. And I prefer to have wedding announcement over one damage shouldn't matter so let's go for the damage i want to deal damage uh so when everything gets swept no it's exiled anyway. no what well, he gets back the ley line right so he can remove one of the things i guess yeah so it doesn't matter because he chooses the target again never mind scrap that thought and that is already good enough for sunfall so we need to be careful about this one but the token has no flying and will have two blockers even if he sweeps the board. Witness the future. He's trying to go infinite. The problem with witness the future is that it's not card advantage, which you can clearly see in his hand. And we have card advantage. So the game is absolutely not over. But I think we are on the good side of it. And they cannot target Kaya, which is the only card they actually really want to target. And that's that was everything. They have nothing more. You should, 
if you could see my smile, man. If you could see my smile. Uh, so, you know what? We don't need to duress, right? Do I want to lay... Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, but I need to... Okay, sure. I thought I can minus 3 this and destroy this and get the Emperor, but then I lose Kaya and that's not worth it. So, this is why we have the Serpent. Oh man, look at this man. It's just perfect. Well, here goes your hand, my friend. Full top deck mode. Oh, they had dancers. <laughs> they had dancers. We have two blockers and he has one card to get rid of both of them. Well. <laughs> Easy. Oh my god, you thought that it's a problem for our skilled friend? Bro, I, I'm just drawing. Listen, why would you go besiege the mirror if you can just draw the cards you need? I'm just such a dummy. And I cannot believe he got one draw and he answered everything with it. Are you absolutely serious right now? Well, this was insane. So I can besiege the mirror, but that's not good enough. I think now we go for the shorted and we say, if you are really so good at magic, you need to draw another one. You need to... I want wedding announcement. I could just tutor it, right? I don't need to sacrifice anything. So in this situation, I think it's okay. What is the chance he will draw instantly a removal for it? Like, tell me, what are the chances? <laughs> we have a perfect blocker, we have a champ blocker, and we have a perfect racing card. The only way that can serve... What an absolute god of a draw! Not only he draws every card perfectly, he draws cards that draws perfect cards and get more perfect cards on top of it. Are you absolute... Man, I cannot believe this. If that's a removal on top of everything... What? Guys, he had empty hand. He had empty hand and nothing twice in a row. And he just, bro, casually, I get the perfect card. What you gonna do? Oh my god, this is insanity. Ima this is what, what the game would look like if your opponent had a free demonic tutor every turn for free and for zero cards. And you can see that it's a pretty powerful ability. I cannot believe what's going on here. All right, so they also have another one. Man, I'm actually baffled. I have to sun for this and then go for the Emperor. Unbelievable. And now he will play Memory Deluge. And this is the only card that is in the graveyard and still draws cards, so I cannot even duress it. <sighs> The most crazy game I have ever played, man. I don't even want to know what he draws. Man. Oh my god, I, I, I'm lost for wars after this. I'm actually lost for wars. We won this game three times already, and then he just tutors whatever he needs to come back. Oh man. Let's go with this. The samurai tokens are super... I still think we won this, but it's incredible how much he can fight by simply drawing one card a turn and nothing more. And all of this after we got so mana screwed for so many turns. I think we played the fortress because this will be a lethal push. So they want to go memory the rush, clear the board again. And they will, it will probably work for them, to be absolutely honest. First, let duress. I don't want him to have any more value than he already has. Another memory deluge that goes to the graveyard or what? What are you? What is this god of magic draw? He is a Scarab god. I'll tell you, man. This is not a coincidence. I thought that he's a god first and then I not saw the, the nick. Sure, I'll take my stuff. One mana. Good. That protects our fortress. And oh boy, you like drawing cards? I will show you the cards. And he cannot do anything about it, unless uh, he doesn't play Memory Deluge and he really wants to. It's still insanely good for him, just, you know, don't get me wrong, like, we are not talking about our opponent not getting perfect stuff, it's just about one perfect stuff at a time. 
<laughs> That's all I need. Man, I cannot hit a single counter. The whole point about this play is trying to pump Fortress for future, because every... I cannot draw a single non-land now. I don't know what's going on this, in this game, man. He will just play Jace or something absolutely crazy. Like, I cannot believe, I cannot hit it. And for this reason, I have to play the Fortress now. And I cannot use the last map to... Man, it's just beyond ridiculous what's going on in this game. I think we have a fair shot at winning anyway. But the fact that it's still going like this, it's, it's just crazy. Yep. And normally the whole point was that I will kill him on the next turn with fortresses. And that's why we invested 3 mana to make it a 5-8. So this will be this would be for the for life total. That means every time he taps, he he dies. Instead, we have three lands. We melt ourselves and we get no extra damage. Told you, those lands will come at the worst possible moment. I will actually discard a planes because this life gains, so it's better than the other lands in in some scenarios. And I already have untapped lands if I need them. And we need swamps. Well, I played the coil. Oh my god, is, is this guy ever whipping? He is a true scarab god, man. Also, I normally wouldn't be tapped, but I had to tap all of this, so I have a chance of hitting, you know, counters. Apparently, it's not good enough. More lands, here they are. I told you, they, it will be pure lands later. So, one, two, we can activate both of them. All right, man, he, I'm so sure he draws as many as he wants that it's crazy, but I'm still going for it. And we'll play on that land because I'm using this map token. You need to whiff at some point in this game, man. Man, I'm descending into madness right now. I'm scared of this guy. I want to be like him and draw every card I need forever, but I'm not. Please, please, let me. I'll give him good game, but I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Is that over? Easy! Every single draw is a perfect answer to whatever I'm doing. It just doesn't this end. Double perfect answer, of course. It's a double perfect answer. I need this. How can you be so good at ma man? I. I just don't know what's going on anymore. This is how insanity is born. I'm actually losing my mind like this. Every single turn is guaranteed perfect top deck from our opponent's side. And now he gets two cards. So this is also a perfect card because he has the whale. And this in just instantly draws him two cards for two mana. And he never ends, he had three times zero cards in the hand and zero options and he was losing in the board. In the board and I, man, I'm losing my voice right now. And look at him, just freaking going. Now I'm waiting for double J's from the top because that's how he rolls. Man, I'm, I'm starting to have no win cons. I won't be able to finish him, I think, just because he's too good at drawing cards. Farewell. So I'm losing Fire X and Arena. And this man, at this point, we are just going with whatever. Creatures, enchantments, and you know what? Graveyards. I don't even care. I want to, everything to burn, basically. <laughs> A wedding announcement is painful, though. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And I need, okay, this is Mirex, because it creates a creature, right? Uh, do I go for two damage? I need to win this game. After all of this, I just need to win this game. Restless Fortress is really good, but it can attack only on the next turn. It's fine, because I am activating the, the token anyway. I can also go Iron Crack for this reason. And it doesn't change anything, right? It gives me more mana. Now we activate. 
I could also make another token, but they will have a block. I think I need this one damage, man. It feels like one damage might be all I have. Oh, but then he, oh, we need to go for the Emperor. We need to clear this freaking board. I have blast zones. He ha man, four cards with this guy? It's basically like having 50 cards in the in the hand. It's exactly what he needs. The true scarab god. Bow to, to the god. Oh my god. I cannot believe we are still going with this. That was supposed to be one extra game so you guys get the content for the day. And here we are. Here we are. Oh boy. Two cards. How good can you be? Enessa. Here's your answer. This is how good he can be. A random 8-8. It's still okay. I actually won this. But I cannot believe this man. This is why we went. Uh, this is why we put it on top. Look how important it was. You are good gaming me every freaking second, bro. But this was so crazy that he kind of deserves a, a click. And uh, let's go. Man, what's up with the with the good game? Does it mean he also draws one mana remover? Or he finally freaking dies. Guys, I think we killed the god today. Well, that was something else. Alright guys, sub for this game because I'm exhausted but so happy we won. I don't like this hand at all. But I think it is kind of playable thanks to, you know, a lot of removers that we have. And do I want to go Mirax? I need black mana on the next turn. I think we have to go with the Sanctum. We need to miss this first one, but, oh, you know, they will play the artifact and try to pump the Wormlet. What are you? Okay, just a bad land. So two damage to the face, then we virtue it, and we go from there, basically. We go from there. This is a good draw. This is the biggest scaling thing. Of course, the epic, you're not as scary as the rest of the cards, but we are on the draw, so that's always scary. If you are on the draw, you know it will be rough. Alright, they probably will cycle one of the cards, I would, I would expect. And I mean, you know me. Just playing Arena, <laughs> I think this will be super close game, especially that I don't have good cards right now. Yep, so they probably have a lot of answers and they are surprised that we don't play creatures like an absolute madman in standard. And I need arena because I'm not hitting my lands otherwise, man. <laughs> 26? More like 6? That definitely feels like it today. Honk. Alright. So we are going at least down to 16, probably more. And then we are starter starting to recover. When we hit the first server and like two lands. Oh. You know what? I will take it because I wanted Arena to draw a land. Uh, we go for the black one. We have double white, that's all we need, and the black is for serpent. You generally want to hit as many black mana as possible. I mean that's good man. Let's do rest first. I want to see. We don't have four mana plays. All right, so what are you? Hmm. So two turns before this hits. I can the end, but he still gets the discovery part. And the target. So that will be a lot of damage. This is actually pretty scary. I would love to draw a card, but I won't be able to. So we just go with this server, I guess. I want to draw cards because if I can hit six mana blades, blade called serpent with four black mana, I will discard those two cards. But I'm on the draw, so this will be really hard to do. And this is a good draw for them, especially that they still play a land, so they still work toward this plan, but with an added upside. I mean, we kind of have to, right? We kinda have to. I think this is a very good target. One of the best targets in the deck. Alright. Let's see the deck. If you want, you can copy it. Fanatical Offering. I like this kind of cards. I, th this is pretty cool. Glare, so a lot of sacrifice outlets. 
Not too many artifacts. I was thinking it's more artifact based deck. Extremely good draw. I need him to whiff right now. And then I need to draw a black man. Oh, I won't be able to write. <laughs> he still plays one. Too, mu too much colorless. Alright, it is what it is. But when he gets those creatures, uh, I will just sunfall. So it's not the worst. Not the worst. Wedding announcement. I mean, that's something. Let's go. Let's go. If we sunfall on the next turn, do we, we get two more triggers for free on empty board. Uh, and he will probably hit a land. The problem for him is that he first needs to discard a card. And he definitely doesn't want to discard any of those. So I think he won't go for the blood token really, because the cost is just too high. He will try to, you know, just randomly hit it. A tap land! A tap land is very brutal for our opponent. I can discard one of those cards, but not both of them. I think the Sunfall token will be what wins us the game. Black man. Man. Oh, I won't be able to hit both. I need to play the... Man, one black mana more. One black mana more. Uh, let's go for zero. We pay... Oh, this is painful. And he took white. Even That's interesting, right? Because there is no payout for white mana, but he still pairs them. Uh, but at least we get one card, so this will be discarded because the cra uh, you know, the Carnosaur is more value. It's 11 mana worth of spells, basically, potentially. So I still think he will discard this one. And then when he plays the stuff with Sunfall, uh, we play Virtue and we get back whatever he discards now, because the rest will be exiled, but this one creature will be in the graveyard. And we still get the Wedding Announcement tokens. We could draw a card. All right, our opponent is super thinking about <laughs> like discarding this card. In the end, they will do it, I think. Man, I tell you, this deck just makes everyone rope. <laughs> it's crazy. And yeah, even Shaf, uh, even even the game knew what is the correct decision. I will attack like this because I really want this card. And you know, the token uh, will be just one, one, uh, you know, smaller, and that's not a big difference. So, if our opponent roped, he will probably rope again. By the way, uh, the fact that he hit this as a tap land for turn six, you could say that oh, it's bad luck, but when I saw this land, this during this game, first thought was, man, you don't play those lands in aggro decks. I sometimes play those in control decks because life game matters. Uh, I, I didn't like that he roped in the end, you know, I enjoyed the game, but not this. And the fact that it comes tapped is absolute disaster for any aggro deck. If you are playing aggro, you cannot play those lands. All right, we are on the play with Reverus, so I'll take it. Our mana base is definitely not the best in the world, but you know, it's... Of course. Is it, is it really control? <laughs> is it really control? Uh, let's try to go for Reverend, because this definitely feels like a control already. They are going for the coast, so it means they are more aggressive, but it might just be a co Yeah, man, just a full-blown control deck. It's wild. So, first let's do res and see what we are fighting against. Mirax will be super helpful. I mean a full-blown counter spell guy. Are you actually serious? So next turn he plays Jace and he draws the card. And then I the end because I'm good at magic. So what is the rest? Memory Delush. We we will just kill his win command. I won't, man, I didn't see like th those kind of scoops since, no way. Oh no, he missed, he missed. That's so bad for us because we had everything planned. I don't think honestly damage matters at all. We'll just go with Mirex tokens because they are better. They also cannot be countered. Bro, please, please draw a land. My whole strategy was this, you know, depending on you not on you having a land to play Jace. I believe he actually hit it, man. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Absolutely. So we go with Mirex, right? 
why do you look at my blazon? Uh, like, I I'm getting nervous. Can you play Jace, please? That would really help my game plan. I guess not. All right, we'll, we'll play your way. I really hope it's not a removal. Like, I really need him to not hit a removal instantly. Good draw. Listen, what would happen if I might you? And this is absolutely deadly pressure for them. Very nice. First poison acquired. So they can syncopate for two. And you know what we can do? We can Mirex again. <laughs> because it goes around all of their counter spells. Well, they're, they're drawing mana very nicely, unfortunately. Uh, but that's fine. It's fine. We don't mind it. And they don't really care about Mirex because they are, you know, losing the Mirex race. They probably want to hit farewell. Look, if we didn't get rid of Memorador, they would already be casting it, and that would be such a huge advantage. They would fix their row fully. And without Memorador, suddenly it's not as easy. I think they are considering playing Jace right now. Claudio, Rosario, are you making your mind on this one? Even Slow doesn't play so slow for a control. I think he's actually metantroping, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, for a control player, we should be better than this. Alright, so... Uh, if that's a rope, I will just cut the video. Because when when I think it's rope, then he su suddenly starts to play, so I have no idea. But yeah, it seems to be a full rope, so let's cut. Alright, it seems they're back. I'm not sure, or we just... Or we just rope. I don't fully know, because I are tapped. <laughs> so let's see. Claudio Rosario, you playing this game or you're just absolutely mad, bro? And guys, if you ever watch this, don't rope ever. Because the only thing you show is that your time in life is worth less than your opponents. And that's not a good look. So never rope, whatever happens. Especially that, it, no, it's not like one of the players is a reason for you to not draw land. So, you know, it's all about this shuffler. Yep, and that was the game. So Claudio Rosario, unfortunately, Probably one of the first control players to go into Hall of Shame. Well, it is what it is. Alright, this will be rough, but I will try to take it. We are on the draw, so I think we can try to do it. And uh, Let's go with the Barons, maybe. Uh, the land draw is very, very good. We need to hit four, and then we start, you know, to think about recovering. But so far is acceptable. Let's go like this, and let's do this. I don't think we hit anything. Well, maybe. The, not sure if they play green. Oh, this is a counter spell. That's huge. All right. That's good. That's good. So uh, it feels like a poison deck and they might have a uh, rot priest, right? Definitely better on the play, right? Because they will get extra hits. You could draw a lot of reveries and be on the play and scale of wooden hit once, but you can also be on the draw with four drops. Uh, and then you get three poison stacks for free. Uh, so he will probably attack, if not, it's fine. I don't want to play into his mana, and if he casts something like Memory Rouge, maybe he plays this, uh, then, you know, things happen. Let's see the counter spell. It seems they play a lot of them. So, ring the ending, second one, cool. Well, let's keep playing unless he doesn't counter one of the spells. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I mean, this kind of solves the poison problem, so I will go for it. Even though I would get better value later. But I think it's still worth it. Uh, just because if he has the third bring the ending, then this gets countered and I'm getting more poison. And we are already like three poison counters ahead of where we should be, so it will be very, very hard to win. I have to play the Serpent probably and try to discard as many cards as I can. Right now too. Hmm. Interesting. That suggests that he has something that pumps. Alright. I will duress him. He didn't like it before. He really didn't like it, Emperor, or what? Okay, so this is the version of the deck. 
that we are thinking about. So this has to be the Emperor, right? Oh, and he was thinking about attacking with Scruff, right? He needs green mana, and we need to kill him before he gets it. Uh, you can say that, oh, he got color screwed, but if I recall, they don't have too many sources. They are mostly a Zorius deck, and Rod Priest is the only green card in the deck. So their splash for green is very low. Especially, like, they don't play... Tri I'm not sure if they play Triumphs. I don't think so. Later we'll attack with the fortresses, but you know, we need to go for it still. We can discard two cards, so if he goes to two, we just play Serpent and get them to zero and then from, fight from there. Extremely in insanely good draw, man. <laughs> insanely good draw. So this will probably be Rod Priest. Uh, he already was really good at hitting counter spells, so let's play it first. We give him the information about the Emperor, but it's fine because he still will go for the green land. If he whiffed on this turn, the game would be nearly over. Because I have 6 damage already in the board and then the Serpent comes and in 2 turns it's lethal. So this was the last turn to hit what, what he needed basically. He can march. Okay, this is not a green mana. So I think we should be able to close it. We don't go go for the throat right now, but the samurais have vigilance, and that's also really really huge. They need to use this march to full extent. They need to use it. Uh, let's go for this. I think we just go with the serpent. We attack with everything, and we have two blockers. They have to march for two. I don't think they will hit the green mana. That's not how it works. And the Serpent will add a lot of damage on the next turn, so I think it's worth it. One, two. We go zero, and we pay with nice ores of mana. So, you know, the Skrelf won't hit them, like it, that they don't care about it, uh, but the second card matters. It either destroys their poison or marsh plan. So, yeah. With one world priest it's way easier to go for. And this also doesn't target anyone, so it's you know uh, doesn't trigger any you know poison counters, anything like it. Alright. I think we should win this man. But this Krelf unanswered for so many turns put us in such heavy situation. We should be around three poison right now. Okay, that's an average draw for this deck, so it's not busted, and that means they fall off super hard. So they need to go for the march. Oh, only this? Bro? I That was a pure misplay, man. What? So they uh, get, got rid of the colorless? But how are you winning the game, man? I don't know, man. I get the idea they wanted to get rid of Chorus so we cannot block. I have got new moves to teach you. But it's just bad. And we kill this guy because Skrelf is stuck. That means uh, this token cannot block so we can deal more damage. 5, 10, 12. Oh. Did I miss Leafar? <laughs> I probably miss. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's fine. It's absolutely fine, guys. Did I miss Lethal twice? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> the truth is, I usually just, you know, don't want to make too long of a pause in the game. But don't you worry, we have everything covered. This is all intentional. Because we have one card that deals very nice direct damage. <laughs> and let's play it. Let's play it. I think our opponent will appreciate it. <laughs> Enjoy your card, my friend. So, double lethal missed, lethal acquired anyway. And here's the card on the stack, or the trigger on the stack. So it means even if they draw. Oh, I like it, with style. Man, we went to 8 poison, that was way more than it should uh, because of Scrav, but you know, we still survived. Alright, we are going first. It's, it's, a, it's a fine hand. It's a fine hand. Uh, we'll use Iron Crack, maybe this will fuel Besiege the Mirror, which is a nice play overall. Never mind, we'll have to play Charlotte into Charlotte. 
because that's how you win magic right now. All right then, so we will, so we will. Uh, I hope he won't have enough burn to go through double shorted. We will see. This is actually a game I've never played so far. Man, they're really, really tempting. Like, I can pl play Blast Zone and just explode everything and both Kumano dies. Oh my god, this is so tempting. I want to do it so much. I want to do it so much. I just cannot resist, man. So he has no board. He nothing transforms, so Godric won't get the celebration trigger. And I mean, now suddenly they don't have so many cards. They had card advantage because we are on the play. And here it is, a lone tree tree that does nothing. Well, what a sad day to be a Godric. You know what? We can go this. Oh my god, we are destroying Monored so hard, it's not even funny. Man, we are at 18. And they have empty board and no nothing. Man, blast zone for one, that's the true secret of anti-Monored. And here comes the sword. Alright, at least something new, right? Well, I hope you brought some burn, my friend. Uh, do I care about this mana? I mean, I will actually go for it. Uh, because this can deal a lot of damage, and I think we will be racing soon. Yeah, you can go for those spells, but he has no spells. He can try to go with Misha's Founder and equip it. If he has a land, I think he can do it. I don't want to highlight, but I think this is equip too, and this is activation too. So three lands for Misha Foundry, two lands for the sword. All right, all right. Okay. All right. That's that's a good gameplay. I'll give him that. Is this exiled? Uh, okay, exiled. So he needs to hit another one for another show. All right, all right. I like it. I can respect that. And um, instantly a lightning bolt, or sorry, strike. It's just a strike. Yeah, let's go for it. We go per game and we sacrifice this because Celestus is still cool and trumps us into Virtue. So what is the card? We could go Wandering Emperor, of course, but I don't think it's strong enough. Yeah, I think only sure that is the is the answer. Because they need to top deck another burn spell. They might, they actually might do it. So we will see. But we deal some damage, and if they don't answer Shaw for a single turn, we are in a very good spot. Uh, I don't think he needs to pay the mana, right? Without paying its mana cost. Chandra, alright. I think we can race with Shaw and the rest is Fortress, right? Like Not sure, we will see. We can deal what? 7, 9 damage a turn, something like this, so it's 2 turn lethal. We cannot block because of protection. And I think they gave up on killing Shorted on this one turn, which is good. I can on also just kill Chandra, but it would be harsh. Yep. They might have played with fire. Alright, they're going for the face. You know, honestly, I'm happy to see at least this sword used, even if it's mono red. Like, you know, it's still something. Well, arena. Uh, so, we could play Virtue, but then we die, right? So it doesn't seem like a great deal. I will definitely attack with the Fortress and cycle one of the cards. What about Shell? What about Shell? I think they might burn her. 8 damage. We get back to 11. Can they deal 11 damage? You know what? We will see. We will see. Challenge accepted. If you think you can burn us faster. Alright. Man, this Monored player actually knows how to play the game. He blocks. He plays. He uses synergies. It's, it's just crazy. <laughs> and we like... Oh, right. We will be at 13. I forgot about Celestus draw uh, triggering shard at the apocalypse. And 
is he dead on the next turn if he doesn't block? It's 5, 7 damage, so yeah, he needs to block. Or he needs to kill us. But it's very hard to burn from 14. And we can always go double Celestus. No, no, because we want to keep activating Fortress, so we won't have uh, enough mana. Only one mana available for Celestus, so we would need two more. If we draw a land, it's still one mana short. So not the play we are going to make. Also, okay, okay. This probably gets the celebrate. I think he was counting Lifa. All right. So six, nine, eleven. So we died. I, you know what? I will give him good game because he actually played very interesting version, trying to experiment a little bit, and he actually really played well. Like th this was probably. I think the perfect play so far, right? Yeah, so he definitely deserved this one. So, well played, my friend, and yeah, that was a cool one. All right, guys, man, I'm still not over this one game. Like, I'm even watching while editing, and it's like, I'm I'm just face palming. Man, what a game. Tell me in the comments. I really want to know what you think about that one, because I've never played game so, so hard like, like that one. Uh, you know, sometimes the draws don't go your way, but I was literally scared about every single one of his draws. Like, I knew it would be something. It's never a land. And let's go talk about the deck because we didn't talk about it in the intro. I really wanted you to see the, the game. And what about the whole game uh, game plan for this one? This is a Phyrexian Arena Ors of Control, of course. So you have, you know, those favorite sunfalls, as you have seen, they are pretty important. We have farewell, so we have option to just clear the board, which is insanely important. Without it, uh, the deck wouldn't really work. And the sub team is Besiege the Mirror, so you know, you get this bargain. This is why we are playing Iron Crack. This is why we are playing Celestus. This is why we added Wedding Announcement, Wandering Ember. And there's a super cool play that you can make. Uh, sometimes Arena might kill you. Your opponent might be like, yeah, you will kill yourself with it. We have enough life gain, so it generally doesn't have Happen, but if you feel that you overdid it with the arenas and you have seen it in one of the games you can always besiege the mirror and sacrifice it get the perfect card and make sure that you are not dying anymore so it's really really cool stuff most of the time you want short that probably and you want to live gain while or, while drawing cards but you know uh, the blade coil serpent sometimes it's a little bit skewed with blazons and mirrors but i still think it's worth it most of the time we discard two cards with it and you have seen that it nearly always works and with kaya uh, generally she closes the games unless your opponent draws Sunfall into 5-5 five, five token and she's at 5 but this doesn't happen very often so we have all the answers and one of the cool parts is Besiege the Mirror can take the Populate, that's why we play one of them and we don't play 4 Sunfalls and it also basically guarantees that you have 4, 6, 7 sweepers and you only play 5 so that's pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff I really, really like the deck and yeah, uh, if you are an Ors of Arena Enjoyer, uh, you probably would Will like this one it has a lot of options and we play a lot of duress so we can you know fight those value decks a little bit better so i hope you guys enjoyed let's ma not make it too long because the video will be late it's been like the longer it is the longer it renders and all this stuff so it will take a while for this one so i hope you had a great fun Thank you for being here and supporting. Thank you for all the comments. Even if I didn't answer, I generally try to read all of them. So yeah, thank you for that and see you tomorrow, guys.